when I first moved to Hamburg, I got lucky with my first chair apartment that it was full of artists, and so I got really involved with the art scene here and the art community. And I found there's this underworld in Hamburg of amazing graffiti and street art and political activism that isn't so obvious when you're in Hafen City or one of the other richer parts of Hamburg. Especially in the Sternschanze areas, where there's just more and more hipster bars and um, restaurants opening up, and as rents go up and uh, governments are selling a lot of their old buildings to private investors, and also new new construction of a lot of um, apartments, this is pushing up rents so much that a lot of people are forced to leave. This kind of thing, I don't know if this is like globally, but people just eventually have to move further away from the city centre to re-establish that original community that they had before the gentrification. And I, yeah, you can feel this happening in Hamburg a little bit. So, I mean, there's a lot of older people in Hamburg that this sort of punk rock scene that just for 40 years now, they just drink and go punk rock concerts and it's not about career and it's not about earning money or anything and but as rents go up that's forcing them to move further out of the city and so I think that's destroying a lot of this sort of punk rock culture. When these new buildings get made there's a lot of pressure on the state and on police to push like people that are just drinking in the street to push them a bit further out of the the newly hipsterized yuppified sort of areas so I think they're the groups that are suffering and also uh, yeah students also yeah it's getting more and more expensive to live in these areas getting gentrified so I think students and sort of these older older punk rock scene are the ones that are sort of suffering more. government a few years ago, Hamburg city government, started selling off a lot of these old buildings that they didn't really care about anymore just to get some easy money. And the private owner, of course, uh, when it was government owned, rents were relatively stable, but when it became private, rents skyrocketed. And the owner of this, the manager of this bar had to close down his business and move. So now you have a bit fancier hotel here. And this is why the <laughs> windows are constantly getting smashed because uh, people, are, like, people who lived here a long time hate the fact that this hotel had to close down.